guys, Sensor Gaming, one of you today, and today I am doing my video on the Snapshot 14, 14, 15W31C because um, I'm a little late with this snapshot because I was on vacation, as I mentioned in the description of my last video. So uh, when I got back, I just started working on it. It's finished now, and I'm gonna try and get it uploaded as fast as I can. So let's get started with what's new. So we've got a bunch of new arrows. Uh, most of them, all of these, they used to have colors, but now they're all black for some reason. They are arrows with potion effects applied to them, so that if you shoot them at something, you give them that potion effect. As you can see, there's just a lot, so you've just got healing arrow arrows, regeneration arrows, all that stuff. Um, I'm just going to try out an arrow of leaping. Now if I go into game mode zero, otherwise it won't work. And I should shoot this up in the air. I'm gonna try and catch it. Yay, now I've got leaping. So, yeah, now I've got like jump boost. And you can also just shoot that other people, use like harming arrows and all that stuff. And um, also, a really cool new feature in the top right corner, you can now actually see the symbol of jump boost so that you don't have to go into your inventory to see what potion effect you have. So, that's really useful. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, the rest, it's all pretty self explanatory. These arrows, you just shoot them at something and you give them that potion effect. So maybe try not using the regeneration or healing arrows on mobs. Or actually, I think healing potions damage zombies, so that might actually be a good thing. But next one, the spectral arrow. This one is really cool. It does something really awesome. So if I just spawn spider here and I shoot it with the spectral arrow. You can see the spider gets this outline and if I go behind this tree I can still see him through the tree. I can just see him wherever I go through the um, through walls. So that's pretty cool. Um, the way this works with the arrows right now is if I have two arrows it will prioritize the spectral arrow because it's uh, for, uh, closer to the left of the hotbar than this one and it will also like that um, prioritize from le top left to bottom right so yeah uh, if I sound a little bit weird I do have like kind of a sore throat I think I don't know but yeah that's really cool also just a new plant added beetroots uh, it's just a food I don't actually know how many hunger it does uh, not really that important I guess but if I just place it down here the beetroot seeds they just look pretty standard and let's get some bone meal and grow the beetroots no I'm on a stack of bone meal um, so yeah we just grow it you can just see right here beetroots and uh, yeah it's just beetroots they, I don't know if they just don't drop something very often or if I'm doing something wrong but yeah I don't seem to be dropping anything right now. I don't know why that is. But yeah. Anyways. Uh, next is there has been an update to the skeleton. As you can see he now just stands with the bow at his side. Uh, kind of inactive. Oh shit. <laughs> Fixed it. Maybe just spawn another one. And if I go into game mode zero and I get this aggro, you can see he's pull. He actually pulls back the bow and shoots. And then if the aggro goes away, they just stand with the bow at their side. So that's just a little animation update for the skeletons. And there's been a slight change in that iron bars. Just one iron bar, just looks like this, just two by two. And same for glass. And uh, I don't think this was before, but glass and iron bars actually connect. So that might have been a new add, uh, that might have been added new, that might have already been there. I'm not exactly sure. And uh, for the rest of all the snapshot updates... No, wait. Oh, I forgot a really cool thing. Um, you can now, in Minecraft, dual wield. So if I want to dual wield, I just go to the item I want to put in my dual wield slot like my pickaxe and now I've got my pickaxe in my left hand and I can just like oh 
Oh no, wait. Uh, yeah, it's better to have it this way. So I can just like destroy things with my pickaxe, blah, blah, blah. And then I can place things with my other hand without having to switch slots. So that's pretty cool. This doesn't work exactly great. Because um, the way it works is it prioritizes your main hand, which is my right hand. So if I have a sword in my left hand and a bow in my right hand, it will still not punch with the sword, but it will just punch with the bow. And it will shoot with the bow, but the sword is pretty much useless. If I switch it around, it's just it will block with the sword, it will punch with the sword, but the bow won't do anything. So it's best to just have like a sword uh, or pickaxe and then uh, a, like a block or something you can place. That's the best thing that works right now. I do hope they fix it, that you can actually do wield two swords or a sword and a bow. But now for the rest of the changes, we're going to have to go to the end. Because there has been a huge update to the end uh, with just the end dragon boss fight, how it looks and uh, new blocks and all that. It's pretty awesome. So if I can just fly. Uh, if the FPS is really low, I am on my laptop. Um, I'm in the progress of hopefully fi like fixing my PC, but it's not really yet. So as you can see here. These towers were previously just scattered around the end island and right now they're just in this circle. And also some of them have the iron cages around them so that you can just shoot all of them. You do ha actually have to build up or throw an ender pearl at some of them. So yeah. So also you can see the fountain is already spawned in the middle. It doesn't spawn when the ender is killed. It's already there. There's just no portal in it. And uh, yeah. That's just basically it, and you can see the end dragon f uh, flying around. The end dragon also has, well, I guess you could call it, yeah, there he is. Um, and we're gonna have to get a closer look at that, but yeah, as you can see, he just sat on top of the fountain for a while, and uh, yeah, he just kind of sat there. Um, for this, I am gonna have to turn my particles on, and because the dragon doesn't charge at you anymore, he just sits on the fountain uh, every once in a while instead of charging and he does a special attack when he does yeah there he goes there he goes that's the attack i was talking about he just um these purple po he just spews or vomits <laughs> i don't know he just spews out these purple particles and uh they do damage and all that stuff it's kind of like uh, uh i don't know he just spews them out, so now I might have to edit some stuff because I'm gonna have to kill the Ender Dragon. Um, so I'm just gonna do this a really fast way. Also, something really interesting is the fact that the last hit, to the killing hit where you actually kill him, has to be when he's on top of the fountain. So you can't actually kill him when he's flying around. You can only actually kill him when he's on the fountain. So. That was just, I didn't want to do the entire fight, so I just gave myself strength 100 and insta-killed him. As you can see, there you go, Ender Dragon defeated, we have the portal. And uh, yeah, oh, you see the beacon there, that's another portal. And that's the one we are going to be going in for the other big end update. But first, we're going to show a system which is temporary i think yeah it was temporary but there is now a way to respawn the dragon and uh it's just by making this six by six cube cube well not a cube um just this six by six thingy um is it six by six no now it is oh yeah there you go it removes it and it spawns a new ender dragon and you can fight him again uh, I think it doesn't give as much XP as when you find him the first time, but yeah, we're gonna go in this new end portal Which leads to the infinite end which is generates infinite end, but also looks a bit different. So um, I'm just gonna use an ender pearl to get in which you can now use in creative uh, I didn't think that was uh, possible for oh it's generating okay a little bit of lag and here we are. So, first thing you might notice are these plants, which are pretty cool. And they break really cool because they kind of have like this effect. But yeah, these are the chorus plants and the chorus flowers on top. But yeah, I think you can actually remove the chorus flowers on top and plant them in the overworld on a piece of fenstone and grow these things. Don't really know if they really have much of a use, except that they look pretty cool. 
but yeah those are new added and I'm just gonna try and find an end dungeon hello you guys I'm back I found the ender dungeon thingy so <coughs> you can see it's made of these purple blocks they are called, called purple and yeah they have pillars stairs slabs uh, normal blocks all that stuff uh, they don't know if they have a chisel block but yeah this is the end dungeon also there's this end bricks which is made with four endstone and there are these new mobs which disguise themselves as blocks and then sometimes they come out and they shoot things at you so I'm actually gonna oh shit I'm gonna demonstrate what happens when they hit you so yeah when they hit you with their they have this kind of homing projectiles and when they hit you they give you levitation which basically makes you float in the air and now I'm just gonna kill them so yeah there you go they die so yeah those guys are pretty cool and they are actually normally way harder to kill but I have strength 100 so insta kills also as you can see the entire inside of this dungeon is parkour also this parkour uh, that's all parkour and they have also here's the, some other new blocks and that's the end rod which is basically kind of a torch it just lights up except that instead of a torch you can actually stand on these so they're part of the parkour and there's an ender chest here also the dungeons have some pretty goddamn good loot so here iron boots depth charger 3 iron helmet and breaking teeth fire protection 2 and bring T5 protection to iron helmets and if we just try to find some more oh shit this is some pretty hardcore parkour oh whoa what the it didn't generate half of it oh there you go it just wasn't loaded uh, let's just go up I went too far up uh, yeah I don't know if there's more loot over there but as you can see it's pretty these things can be pretty huge. Okay, let's see if there's any chests in here. To demonstrate some more awesome loots. Oh, the chest broke. But there is an enchanted diamond. So it's like enchanted iron and diamond gear. And you can also just find iron and diamonds. And that's pretty awesome. So, And with the really big ones, there's also the ship. And the ship is really OP, if you ask me. But because in the ship you can find two instant health potions and they've been in every ship I've seen so far and the freaking beacon with three iron blocks now that's pretty OP if you ask me because that just makes the wither like you don't need the wither you can just find the beacons here so I don't I think you can actually pick it up so yeah and then here's some iron horse armor beetroot seeds iron ingots uh, Tom diamond helmet, diamond helmet, iron sword, gold, and diamonds. So yeah, that's basically everything with the new snapshot. They are going to add more things like shields, more updates to the end maybe. I hope they improve the dual wielding so that you can actually do a sword and a bow and all that stuff. Much more to come. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys next time.